These, these corridors were built really basically for rich Romans to go to the best seats, you know, the nearest to the yes. arena. That's, that's why they were built in the first place. But since the uh, Vesuvius explosion, they've been closed for 2,000 years, mm -hmm. nearly. I mean, I never had any idea when I was setting this up that you would be back, you know, at the same time. Um, it's coincidence. Oh, this is coincidence. This is pure, pure coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> So this, I think, is really good. This is Echoes Part 2, of course. Yeah. And that's up Vesuvius there, isn't yeah. it? Do you remember that? Yeah. It was very cold and very oh, windy. It was a very yeah. good shot. Yeah. 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 Because people still come to Pompeii and they say, can we see the amphitheatre where the Pink Floyd played? Mm. They don't want to see all the immortal treasures, you know. <laughs> because, in fact, Stephen and I think David, they said to me, well, maybe we might consider doing something if you can find a good venue. Oh, so you went to them just saying, I would like to film the musicians in a place. No, no, I said here. I wanted to combine their music with art, contemporary art, like Christo and Tingali and Magritte and so on and so forth. And they didn't like that idea at all. So, so then I came back saying, well, maybe couldn't we do something in the amphitheater? Uh, and now you've set them on a course of amphitheaters. Yeah. And so now, yes, <laughs> yes, wow. Can't keep them out of an amphitheatre now. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful place. It's, I mean, it's, it's, you know, there's ghosts in here. Exactly. Yeah. So the children, it's, it's, I read something saying that, that some little children yeah. kind of did come and they were allowed to sort of quietly watch. Has, have any of those children ever sort of... Well, one of them, isn't one of them the mayor or one of those... No, people? no, no, no. One of them is someone well, there. There's the guy who brought you to the mayor. His yeah. name is um, Matteo, Matteo Apuzzo. He was an old yeah. uh, ragazzi, Nelis Oh, was he one of the children? Yeah. yeah. How funny. They say, oh my gosh, inside the amphitheater there are Pink Floyd. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. 1971, I was uh, 14 or 15. Uh, as young boys, we go inside the ruins without paying uh, tickets. In that time, it was possible. And so for three, four days, we were here to, to, to listen to the, the concert. What remains uh, is the fascination of music in a lonely place. So the, the history of Pompeii is strictly together the story of Pink Floyd. In 71, really, uh, that music was something extraterrestrial for, 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 for all. <laughs> so I said to the, to the mayor, David Gilmour is coming 7 and 8 of July. We have to give him the honorary citizen. Say, oh my gosh, yes. Pompeii wants to make him honorary citizen. Prego. Thank you very much. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie mille. Welcome. I'm honored. Welcome. 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 Home. Welcome home. Thank you very much. Questa è la sua città. This is your city. This is your city. Thank you. It's lovely to be back here. What you tell kids when they come here is, where do you think they went for a pee? Yeah. There is no. There is. There are no facilities in this place. There still isn't. <laughs> we still haven't got any of no, right. them. They, they, they had to fight they for the loose. They wouldn't allow me to have a loose <laughs> backstage here. So they just in the middle of it, I need to dash off. <laughs> well, well it's, you Nothing think changed. Yeah. 12, you know, nobody knows quite how many people have been here because it depends yeah. how, how squashed they were. Um, but 12,000, 15,000, some people yeah. were here, 20,000 20, people and no lavatories. And what were the performances? Of, I mean, they would have been from uh, what? What? <laughs> well, I think it would have been quite crude. Yeah. We don't imagine guitars or lyres, you know? Yeah. They think of it as being lions and tigers and yeah. hippopotamuses and... Yeah. Do you think it was just bare-knuckle fighting? I, I think it was sheep. I, I, always, I always say, you know, probably wild beasts. Well, yeah, you went out in the hills and yeah. you got a few sheep, a few wild boar, and you had some guys with nets and spears, and you imagined what you were seeing are hunches that they didn't die as much as you'd like to, well, much as you'd hate to think they did, right? <laughs> like hate to think, right. I don't know. Okay. Partly because they're terribly expensive commodities. Yeah. You know, if you're the gladiatorial kind of impresario, you don't want to 
lose all your property in, you know, a couple of fights. Your stars. Yeah. Your stars. Yeah. The, the big question really is, was it like boxing or was it like wrestling? Yeah. 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 And we like to think of it as like boxing. Yeah. yeah. But the chances are it was a bit more like wrestling. Though one of the things that's absolutely clear is, A, they became sort of a bit heartthrobby. So that although gladiators were, ter you know, they were the lowest of the low in Roman terms, you know. You know, don't let your daughter, you know, marry a gladiator. It was awful. There's no future. No, no absolutely no future. Um, they had a kind of sort of sexy, heartthrobby image. And Roman writers go on about how, you know, elderly uh, middle class ladies go, go, for the, go for the rough trade. <laughs> Ruins are ruins, but from 1971, ruins are something more. For Pink Floyd fans, it's like uh, a church. They go inside with the guitar, put the guitar on the, on the ground, in the exact place where was David Gilmour playing the guitar, and make like this. It's unbelievable, it's unbelievable. Thank you.